let's put these together here. They're very important. Handlebars next to toilets Correct. and bathtubs or showers, which you did mention. Yes. Non-slip mats in the bathtubs and showers. Correct. Again, that goes back to the small rugs. Correct. But then again, back to the home. Lighting in the home is important, handrails and lights. What you're talking about is having those things that you can grab onto Correct. that are solid, right. that are not simply just trying to put your hand down on yeah. a table, it's which can also be a problem. You can slip and fall, you can just, sure. the table can come out from underneath sure. you. Sure, and thinking about the simple dynamics, the physical dynamics of having to step into a bathtub is definitely different from having to walk into a shower or even roll into a shower if, God forbid, you're confined in a wheelchair and those kinds of things. Now, of course, all of our homes are different and not every home has the opportunity to do either tub or shower. However, uh, switching from which bathroom you commonly use is very important and again, may be different from what you're used to. You may have to come out of the master and use your kid's old bathroom or whatever it may be because there's a shower in that one, there's a tub in yours. But those kinds of decisions are extraordinarily important so that hopefully you can again improve your safety. Um, and, and oh again, and the dexterity of going from a sitting position on a toilet to a standing position, if that's a challenge for you because of a knee injury, a hip injury, a back injury, uh, those are things that have to be considered. There's, there's again, there's, people that try to make that process, sorry, don't mean to get gross, a little bit easier <laughs> okay. uh, so that you can do your business on the toilet in a little bit of an easier position for you, believe it or not, those kinds of things exist.